Anna, here we are. It's been 11 wonderful years. I hope I show you every day how much I love you. How much you mean to me, and how much without you I'm just not me. I hope I show you, because honestly, words just aren't good enough. And it sounds cliched, but it's true. I tell you I love you so much, but it never truly addresses what I feel for you. You know I don't believe in fate. I believe we make our own destiny through our choices. But even though I don't believe in fate, I know I would end up with you again. Given the same choices, varying paths, I would choose the same thing every time to be with you. It might take me 15 years or another 11, but I would find my way to you. I still laugh and smile thinking about how we got here. It's hard to believe that it's been 10 years since we rode a bus to Olive Garden. Knowing each other so long has been such a blessing, and I'm so grateful we started with such a solid friendship and that you were bold enough to put yourself out there. You are my best friend. I love exploring and doing nothing with you. I'm so lucky to be with you. You are so caring and giving to me in so many ways, it's hard to put it into words. I love your blue eyes and your laugh. I love your love for your family and your relationship with my family. I love that everyone loves you because they recognize what a kind-hearted and good man you are. But what I love most is that you're so unapologetically yourself in all scenarios. And I don't think you realize how much I admire you for that. Growing up, I've always looked up to Hannah. I admire and envy the confidence and personality Hannah exudes. And trying to live up to her example helped me to become a better person. And that's Hannah. She inspires and drives the people around her to live up to their potential. I always knew that Luke was the right one for Hannah. He is really an upstanding guy, very respectful, still calls me Mr. Curly, and oh, by the way, you can call me Dale now. Debbie and I are so happy that you are now part of our family. Hannah has grown into a independent, successful young woman that Debbie, Debbie and I are so proud of. She has so many friends, you can see by how many they had standing up, which is insane. I'd like to thank the Curleys, the Minesbergs, thank you uh, to both of the families for putting together such an amazing night. Let's give them a round of applause. Second, we'd like to thank the bride for joining the Minesberg clan. It takes a special person to choose to join the Minesburg clan. And Hannah, we're very happy that you have. Welcome to the family. I promise to take care of you and put you first. I promise to challenge you and myself and help make us better every day. I promise to remember that we are who we're best friends first and to choose you and fight for you in hard times and to celebrate our successes and little victories. Thank you for making me happy every day. I love doing life with you. And I'm so lucky and happy to call you mine. I love your compassion. I love your friendliness. You bring out the best in me. There's so many things I don't know can't say what I just love about you and I learn about you every day. It's all those little things that makes me want to spend my life with you. You truly are my better half and my best friend. I love you.
to have everyone you love in the same room and it's not lost on us that a lot of you traveled and came a long way to celebrate with us so we just want to say thank you just continuing the thank you we really appreciate every one of you as Hannah said we know it's far distance um, just going into detail for the bridal party right here we tried to fit as many people as we could in it um, we really appreciate these 20 people being able to stand up as our ushers and readers. It, it really means a lot to us that you've been there. You've been amazing friends, families. You've been extremely reliable with everything we've ever needed, and you've always been there for us, so we really value that. And then a final thank you to our parents. I mean, without this, it wouldn't have happened. You helped us plan, helped make all of this a reality, and it's just really hard to say thank you enough for everything you've done for us, not just for this wedding, but making us who we are, which made us find each other. So your love's an inspiration for us. It's hard to believe my little brother's getting married. But there's something about being an older brother that takes a while to figure out. Eventually you figure there's people underneath you who are actually looking up to you, which is a hard thing to accept. You try to set the best example you can, and you start to realize that as an older brother, your little brother is either doing as well as you or better than you in just about every category. Here's the good news for you, Hannah. Most of the time, I'm a pretty good husband. I'm usually a pretty good dad, but I suspect my little brother will be better than me at all those things. So, whatever you have, raise a drink. It's a happy couple. I love you all. Let's throw you. I believe you both are an amazing match. You compliment each other in a way I can't even put into words. You make each other laugh. You inspire each other to reach for the stars while keeping each other grounded. Most importantly, you clearly make each other a lot happier together than apart. Luke, I'm very happy I've gotten to know you over the last five years. You are so selfless and willing to do anything to help your family and friends. And I have no doubt that you'll be that person for Hannah for the many years to come. You and Hannah are both just incredible people, and I'm so happy that you found each other. Let's raise our glasses to Hannah and Luke. Yeah. 